What is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club? Happy Monday, guys. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. We got a little bit of news to go over today. If you guys haven't already done it, make sure you guys put in the comment section below hashtag FS Daily News. If you guys have not followed us on Twitter, make sure you guys do it at FS Club Xbox or on Facebook at FS Club Console. First bit of news, some more pictures of the Ponzi Bear coming soon from NMC to all platforms. This looks amazing. I'm not much into forestry, but this looks really good. Cannot wait for this. Okay, so there is that. Also, a little update on Vertex Design. They are working on a new thing, new trailer actually. Uh, they like to introduce you to the Anaburger Basic Liner HTS 2012 in full. The trailer will be equipped with various configuration options, different tow bars, attachments, superstructure. A release is scheduled for PC, Mac, and PS4 and Xbox One when it is finished. Cannot wait for this. This looks pretty good. Looks really, really good. Okay, then next thing we gotta talk about, which I don't know if this is coming or not, but it does look like maybe. Uh, Sid Modding. If you guys haven't ever checked out Sid Modding, make sure you guys do. It's on Facebook. Uh, they are working on a John Deere, a John Deere 9610 to be exact, combine. This looks really good. He said, uh, modeling continued. I have a lot of work ahead of me. Please be patient. If we want to have versions on console, Xbox, PS, PlayStation, we need to use one grain tank and few configurations. Do you want? So make sure you guys head on over to Sid Modding on Facebook and tell him, heck yes, we want this. We want this on consoles. So that is pretty much all the news for today. Not that much to go over today. Uh, the mods, we did get new mods today. I made a video about that. I don't know if it's uploaded now or it should be uploaded in a little bit. But the new mods we got, we got the 3.4 forklift, the G Galagini 9250 SL, which is amazing. This thing, you can actually make 5,000 liter uh, round bales. And it looks like it also has new uh, textures for the bales too. Uh, we have the Bremer FG300, cow pasture, cow pasture. Uh, which these ones are completely different because there's no milk produced on them. So they're basically uh, to fattening up cows and breeding. And then we had Long Shed and the Zunhammer TS 10,000 KE. We also had Geos for South Carolina, North Carolina, and California. Update to the old farm countryside, which just got rid of some crops. Now there's just, I believe, rye, sorghum, and rice, I believe. There might be one more. Hold on. Uh, rice, sorghum, oh, millet. Sorry, millet. Sorry, 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 sorry. Then we have the Wilson Pace Setter B, which that, that fixed the flashing lights. I know I always get comments about that, about the flashing lights on there. Then also Will Set, Wilson Pace Setter A train, uh, the flashing lights have been fixed. And we also got a new map today too. The new map we actually got today, it, let's see, let's go right here. Let's go to L, there it is right there. Click on it. And this is the new map right here. Uh, it says PC and Mac, but it is on consoles. I don't know if they messed up on it or what. It says, Welcome to Ellerbach in beautiful Bavaria. Here in southern Germany are three little villages. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce those. Uh, let's see. Seasons ready. Snow mass. Snow covered roofs. Dynamic foliage texture change. Ice plains. Dynamic pool water change. Improved performance. New road systems. Rebuild and textured buildings. Optimized file size. Fixed biogas plant. Fixed silos. Many textures change. Fixed buildings. Uh, building collisions, typical uh, collisions, la uh, larger rebuild, uh, animals, traffic, added new cell point for wool. This is all some of the updates they've done. So yes, this has came out. Looks really, really good. Uh, so there is the new mods for today. Speaking of testing list, guys, it has not been updated. I don't know what's going on, but it has not been updated as of yet. See, last time he updated it was what? Uh, Wednesday, January 8, 2020. So he is out of the office or they're just really busy right now. So just be patient. Hopefully later on this week, we get that testing list. Well, that is all the news for today. Let me know what you guys are excited about. Remember guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an all day farmers. Peace. Yeah.